What's up? What's going on everybody? Falls in full effect. Winner's just around the corner and after a lot of requests for this video, you guys got it. Top 5 jackets for fall and winter. In this video, I'm actually going to be using an app called Snups where you can organize your sneakers and your clothing into online shelves. It's also really useful to see what others are wearing, what's trending at the moment. It's pretty active. Alright, so I'm actually going to create that shelf right now, Top 5 jackets. So all you got to do is push this plus button right here, create shelf, Top 5 jackets. And as I move along, I'm going to take a photo of the jacket and put it on the shelf so you guys can see what the top five jackets are. Y'all ready? Let's go. Our right, number five on the list, we got a jacket that kind of took myself a little time to get used to, a black leather biker jacket. So for a little while, a lot of celebrities were wearing these type of jackets, but now when you wear them, I would say it's more for that classic leather jacket feel rather than it being a trend thing. These look really cool when you want to dress up and look cool with some edge, but not so much for everyday wear. Prices can range from about 40 bucks out of Forever 21, or you could go as high as about five or 600 bucks out of Urban Outfitters. This one I got for 200 bucks, made by members only, so the prices can vary. All right, so there you have it, the classic classic leather biker jacket. Next up we got a jacket that comes really handy for those rainy days, a parka raincoat. So a parka is an elongated jacket that goes past your waist. Doesn't necessarily have to be this nylon material, but it does come really in handy when you need to travel with it or even fold it up into your backpack. And the elongated cut kind of gives you a different feeling rather than a regular raincoat. I would say it's a little bit more stylish without doing too much. It's kind of a thin jacket, so for me, I like wearing a sweatshirt underneath or maybe even a hoodie. Number four on the list, the Parker raincoat. Alright, number three on the list, we got the classic Levi's denim jacket. Alright, so denim jackets are that jacket you could keep in your closet all year around, but when you do break them out, they'll still be in style. It's a classic. It's kind of hard finding that wash you like, but once you do, denim jackets are great to wear casually or even dressed up a little bit. And this denim jacket you see right here has this cotton lining for that extra layer of warmth, something you might want to consider if you're in those colder areas. And my one tip when it comes to the denim jacket will be to size down when you're choosing your size. And it's okay if your shirt hangs a little bit lower or the sleeves fit a little bit tighter. It'll give you that form-fitting look that looks really good with the denim jackets. Moving right along, we got the Ripstop Pullover Jacket. These kind of remind me of those vintage stadium jackets that a lot of people wore in the 90s. I wouldn't say they're timeless, but a cool trendy jacket that a lot of kids seem to be wearing right now. They're not too expensive, easy to pack in your backpack, and a lot of them are made out of this rainproof Ripstop material. All right, so number two on the list, we got the Ripstop Pullover Jacket. All right, last but not least, you've seen it in a couple of my videos already. Number one on the list, we got the Represent Bomber Jacket. So a lot of people have been asking me about this jacket. It's actually a cheaper alternative to another brand called Fear of God, but almost identical. So the thing that's really unique about this jacket are the subtle details. So instead of regular sleeves, it kind of has these ruffled looking sleeves that really give it a different look. It's cool for casual wear, but also looks really trendy and fashionable. You could wear a bomber jacket by themselves or even with the hoodie underneath. And if you do wear a hoodie underneath, I would make sure it's a different shade than your jacket. That way it gives your overall outfit some color contrast and doesn't look like it all blends in. All right guys, the Represent Bomber Jacket for the number one spot. It doesn't have to be the Represent brand exactly. There's a lot of variations of the Bomber Jacket you guys could get. You just gotta look around. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really feeling the outfit that I'm wearing right now. So to show my followers what I'm wearing, I'm actually gonna create a snuff date. So what I'm gonna do is take a photo of the whole outfit, but within the outfit, I'm actually gonna be able to tag the jacket, bomber jacket, and if you click on the tag, you'll be able to see a wide range of photos with this jacket specifically as part of the snuff date feature. And what's also really cool is if you get enough wows on your snuff date, you'll be able to make it into the trending section where everybody can see your photo. All right, so I'm gonna take the selfie right here, bam, and then create the snuff date. Tag the jacket. Easy. All right, guys, thanks for checking out my top five jackets for fall and winter. A lot of these jackets can really range when it comes to the pricing, so I'll left some links in the description box below for you guys so you can find them at different prices. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you check out that Snups app. Who knows, maybe your photo will get a lot of wows and make it onto the trending section. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.
All right, guys, thanks for checking out my top five jackets to wear for the fall and winter right now. Make sure you check out this video. Also, check out this video. If you guys haven't done so already, check out that Stuffs app. Trust me, it's a dope app if you want to follow your favorite sneaker heads, interact with them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.